going to Denman Island. Really sandy beaches there. Denman Island. Yeah, so yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> We're gonna probably see some orcas there, right? Yeah, maybe the nice orcas. some some really sandy beaches there. We've never we've never been to Denman. <laughs> Enjoying her green smoothie. Cute little room, the love room. Nice bed, nice wood, beautiful view. App oh, there are lots of apples. Some free books. Take a book. Room there. A room there. Vegan ice cream, open 9 a.m. to dark. What a dream. A little tree house. What an amazing house. Ice cream sandwich. Ice cream's lost. Oh. So, so how does this work here, Chris? So you, you have to uh, write it down what you what you bought. So you write down what you buy. So you write, you down, write down what, down you, what buy. you buy. And so if we we buy carbon mocha, which we won't because I don't like that flavor. We would buy. We put that and write down. The oh, that would be so good. What trust is that? Amazing. It's a raw, like, date walnut crust and then vanilla ice cream. Try some. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, I mean. It's a little cold for her. Like the ice cream? Got raspberry.
so happy. <laughs> This is um, grand fir. It's a tree in British Columbia. It's, it smells like Christmas trees. They're really amazing. You can make tea with them. Do they taste good? They taste really good. I mean, but they taste bitter. I mean, they are too strong when you eat it, but you have to uh, you have to make a tea to taste good. So then you just drink a tea, and yeah, yeah it's you can save your life if you're in the in the forest. I think. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we should introduce survival tips from Joseph. Yeah. Chantal, Chantal is loving to smell things now. Look at that. Are you smelling the the needles? Because it smells really good. <laughs> She's our baby. Maybe you want more water. Yummy. Three kilometers to Sandy Island Marine Park. When the tide is low. When the tide's low. Should we try? Should we risk it? <laughs> so this is Morning Beach? This is Morning Beach. It's around 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. or so. And the, tide, the tide is lowest at 9.49. So I don't know how, how it looks like now, but it would be nice to check it out. Hope for, hope for the best. <laughs> it's like minus one or zero or something. Honest opinion about Canadian winter is after my time with it, I'm done with it. How excited are you or you're nervous? I'm excited and nervous. I'm, I'm nervous to take the hike to the sandy island in case the tide comes up. It would be so warm and you could just swim and hang out here without any like Australia or something. No one else is here. We've got an isolated beach. It feels like Canada, honey. <laughs> We're thinking maybe we'll run we'll try to run to Sandy Island to maximize our time. Tide's pretty far out. That's Comox and Courtney over there. That's Comox Glacier. There. Mount Apps, the hike we just did like a week and a half ago, is one of these mountains. I'm not sure which one from here, but it's one of those ones. Incredible. And these are the mainland mountains. <laughs> so much bigger. We arrived. This incredibly soft sand. This is a 
an island when the tide's this high. Sandy Island, Tree Island. Joseph wants to camp here. all the way to that island there. That's the sandy island we were on. She was crying when you left. Oh. Wait, what the heck is this? What's that thing? This? I don't know. Isn't that like... Uh, I think that's actually... um. What is the name of it? Uh... Touch! Look! Oh. <laughs> but it's so so dirty. <laughs> Bye amazing morning beach. Oh I'm good enough. May I have that back, Sean so? <laughs> Tell wants to swim too. This is the clearest water I've ever seen in any Canadian beach. <laughs> 